Welcome to video one of the improved advanced form and training. Starting here, we're going to build a practice project and manage it together side by side. So tighten your chin straps and let's go. If you haven't already been through my beginning form and class, you're not ready to take this class. So please, no matter how advanced you think you are in your form and abilities, please go back and go through the beginning form and class or this training won't mean as much to you. Okay, if you're still with me, you need to surf over to constructiontoolware.com and sign up for the free trial. Just click Get It Now and sign up. Along with the access to the software we will be using in this course, you'll also be sent some files that you'll need to build a master schedule, write crew rolling schedules, and import materials and crew lists. So just stop the video and get it done right now. We'll be right here waiting for you when you get back. Enter your login credentials and click Submit. Select the Employees tab. We're going to start by importing your employee list. Please locate the employee file so you know where it is on your computer. Your company should be able to download an employee list right from their accounting software that you can import into the system. Before we get to that point, I want you to know how to do that. So I provided you with a small employee file for our practice project. To get started, select Import Employee File. This box tells you what type of file you need, a CSV file. If you don't know what a CSV file is, it's a comma-separated value file. Very similar to an Excel file. As a matter of fact, an Excel file can be saved as a CSV file. More on that in a moment. This tells you what the header row should say in the respective columns. The next line tells you what the subsequent rows should say in the respective columns. And this lets you know that quoted text, sometimes used in CSV files, is not required, but it does ensure better accuracy on the import. You need to know this information because we don't know what type of file is going to come out of your accounting software and how you need to manage it. The data we're looking for is common information that ought to be available from your company accounting system. This is what a simple employee CSV file looks like. Ideally, your accounting software would automatically send our program a file like this every day. That keeps your employee list fresh with new hires and wages in case someone gets a raise. We can link this for your company, but there are a lot of different accounting programs, so we need to address this on a company-by-company -company basis. A good reason for linking is because the data can come into our system and be used without anyone ever seeing it, so it keeps the data safe but allows it to be used. You'll need this data to use our software to manage your projects, so this needs to be worked out with your company. In the old days, companies trusted foremen to be big girls and big boys, but over the last number of years, they've stolen your responsibilities from you and given them to the project managers. This will all have to be worked out with your company, but if necessary, ask your project manager to log into our system to load the data and then set parameters to ensure that you won't ever see it. You do not need to see this info to use our system and manage your project. This is the exact same file in Excel format. To save it as a CSV file, simply click File, select Save As, select where you would like to save it, and select Save As Type CSV. Now just select Browse. Find the folder you put the employee file in, select the file, and click Open. Now that the file's been imported, we need to upload it to the program, so click Upload. The import status tells us the upload is complete. Below that there's some text, so let's read it. The following table summarizes the data to be imported. 
Any values highlighted in red will either be added as new data or updated to the new value shown. What this is telling you is that you have already uploaded a copy of your company roster and you're uploading a newer version. It is only going to update records that have changed like merit increases and new employees. The rest of the roster will remain the same. Next it says, updates to the data will only be done to the employee record and will not affect any existing schedules. Please print this list if you want a record of what employee records were updated. This tells us that this upload is not going to affect any of our current schedules. This gives you control over when these updates are processed in relation to your schedules. They can be implemented at any time, but we want to make sure, in the case of raises, that the date you implement them will be the same day your company implements them so that your reporting data remains accurate. The last sentence says, after you have reviewed the data below and are satisfied that it looks correct, please click the commit data button below to import these changes to the employee data. Again, this will not affect any schedules that are in progress, but you need to view and approve the data before it will be available for you to use. Go ahead and click Commit Data. Our employee roster has been accepted. Now click on the Employees tab. And there's your company roster, in our case, six employees. This is what you'll see as a foreman. Although the program knows every worker's wage and will use it to generate reports, it's not available to you. So there's no reason why your company should not provide this data as long as you let them load it for you. Now, you know from my previous training that it's important to know what average labor rate was used to compile the estimate for your project so that you can try to keep your crew ALR in line with the estimate. And that's a good reason for your project manager or company to provide wage information to you. If you pitch this argument and they give you the wage info, you can upload it yourself. Otherwise, you'll need their support. You need to know and understand that whether you can see the wage data or not, this program will advise you of your average labor rate every step of the way. So once you get the wage data in here, you'll always know where you are operating in relation to the estimated average labor rate. So insist on this number.